All right, this is uh, Sam's Roadside Service, the fastest roadside guy alive. I'm out here at a, a local Lowe's. I've got a plumbing truck that has a flat tire. Uh, again, this is one of those things most guys don't want to do because they're a pain in the butt or whatever, but I'm going to show you how to knock this out directly and correctly. If I can set this camera up right. Here we go. This is a, uh, this is one of those trucks that has an underneath the uh, back end spare. So you're gonna wanna crack this open, get your narrow beam flashlight out, look down the tube, see what you're looking for. And on this one, it is my yellow tool. It's a, it's a Nissan van, so you're looking at the T end. Throw my gloves on here. Hopefully I can do this without dropping my camera again. All right, so you can see the Speed tools here are really helpful to get the spare tire down. You're not hunting for the customer's tools or anything like that. So now that I know I can get that down, I'm gonna get my tool bag to the truck. I'm gonna drop that where I can get to everything. Grab my jack. And I like to go up underneath the back of these trucks and these big vans. You can get to the axle couple good lift spots right here on these. Always want to make sure your jack handle's tied in there. Got a little issue. I'm miss, missing the pin on this jack, so it's I'm waiting to get that replaced. Hey, Mike, can you shut that off? I got to get right by this exhaust pipe. So this isn't a Exhaust pipe's kind of in the way here. And off to a flying start. It's a problem with the jack handle being busted. So far, we're making it look hard. All right, the jack handle's being an issue here, so I'm gonna go back over here, do it on the frame. You wanna keep your equipment in good shape for this reason. Close this so you can see. It's a two-ton Pittsburgh aluminum floor jack. It's usually enough for these work trucks. That frame is super high there. All right, it's the worst one ever. No worries, it's gonna make it work. The jack handle is really the issue on this.
All right. Oh no. This little work light comes in pretty handy. See this jackhammer sliding off is what the problem is. Five minutes in, and finally gonna get the wheel up. Doesn't always go smoothly, but you want to make it go. Again, it's that jack handle was the issue with doing it in the back. All right. I always double, triple check my lift. Should be about enough. Might as well keep that light on there. All right. Hopefully that's the hard part. Put your speed tool away. You don't want to make sure your spare's got air in it. That one's going to be full. Now, we're going to take our inner saw rand and a deep well lug remover. And I always check every bolt to make sure it fits, make sure there's not more than one bolt size, and then rip them off. This gun's gonna save you about five minutes on a call like this when you gotta bust loose eight bolts, zip all these off instead of uh, you know using your breaker bar and whatnot. I always throw my torch stick. Get ready to put it back on. I don't see anything obvious, Mike. I'm not sure what got you. We'll just. Yeah, well, yeah, if you're working like that, you're going to get a flat tire once in a while. <laughs> Boom. You can see that the jack was the hard part. Once you get that sorted out. And then I would just kind of snug them up a little bit. You want to make sure it's set on the hub right. You want to spin your lug nuts on. Make sure you got some good threads there. You don't just want to jam this stuff on there. Get a couple snug. Make sure it looks like it's set. And then just go to town again. Start off. I always hit them like this. Boom, boom, boom. Put this put away. Drop the jack. See, I keep everything handy. Jack handles in the bag. I don't keep the light in the bag. I keep it handy in the back of my truck though. Jack put up. Got off to a slow start on that. Didn't set any records, but that job's done. Total length of this video, 10 minutes and 30 seconds, and it went really slow at the beginning. 
Well, that's it. I'm the fastest roadside guy alive. I'm out.